I take off the microphone because she took off her own and we are the same height, so <laughs> I will not get up there. So actually, um, yesterday I thought that I would die. It was so terrible. I got up yesterday. We had a program in church to visit some people in the hospital. Went there, delivered a good message. When we left from there, I started feeling kind of pain from here. Those of us who are doctors, they may know that. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. When I came home, was getting more serious. I tried to pretend because I'm a pastor, but the pretending did not pretend itself. <laughs> and I went to the room, trying as much as possible not to show anybody what is happening with me. Tried to play with the baby. Now, that pain was getting to another level. I went to the room and I lied down. Started feeling a kind of heat. Something else started coming to my brain. Don't listen to the devil. You will be in trouble. I had a lot of thinking. I called my wife and I said, something is happening. He said, close your mouth. I just hear you playing with the babies a few minutes ago, so you cannot be telling me a different story. I said, if this woman was here. And believe me, I tried this with a lot of agony and one thing I would ever advise you is never minimize a prayer. When she came back from work, she set her hand in the same place and prayed. And I joined her with the prayer in my heart earnestly when she finished praying. Gas came up, poo. <laughs> And then I budge, and she said, what is smelling? <laughs> I said, how does it smell? She said, she doesn't know. I stayed after some three minutes, another poo. The pain was subsiding, and it was going off, and I started feeling in a different mood. So what I'm trying to encourage you is that Never neglect prayers wherever it is coming. Because if I neglected prayer, I don't know what would have been the next level, maybe to the emergency room. So God did all the work. And I believe I had that serious attack because the message I preached was Psalms 91, 14, 15, and 16. Say, call on me in trouble, and I will be with you. I will deliver you. I will honor you. I will satisfy you with a long life. At this point, the devil started fighting me. Okay, call on him now. Let me see. And please, don't neglect prayers. Thank you.